So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our divine feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a divine masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get that. Because this reading right now is not for you. All right, let us go ahead, you all, and jump right into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Joel on today. Let us see. Let us see. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages? All right. We have work through your fears, all right? Work through your fears, feminine, okay? Work through your fears, believe in the impossible, okay? What does it say? Prosperity lies ahead. Lots of beautiful things coming in here for you, feminine. Take time to breathe out. Mm. So many messages want to jump out for you. Lord. Okay. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay. So you're releasing something. Letting go of someone so that you can make room for the prosperity that lies, that lies ahead of you. Some of you may have been afraid to let go of whatever this energy is. But you realize now more than ever that it's necessary. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. And you do. All right, we have Scorpio, Taurus. All right. Full moon eclipse energy. Conclusions are within reach. The energy is gaining momentum. And bring love into the situation. All right. Hmm. Whatever it is that you're letting go, you've already made peace with that. But this new thing that you're bringing in, you're afraid of being hurt. It feels like this could be the real thing. You're hoping it's the real thing. All right, let us see what the messages are. Six of Pentacles, yeah, reciprocity, it feels good. You and this person, two equals, two people that are able to give to each other in a way where it is balanced, okay? Neither party feels neglected, abused, okay? King of Pentacles, they're dependable, reliable, emperor, ready, ready for what you're ready for. I see the Ace of Cups sticking his head out. I see the Fool. This person is ready for a brand new beginning in love. You're ready for a brand new beginning in love. Here it is. Yeah, Ten of Swords. An abrupt ending to the things that aren't working. That you realize nothing is coming from those situations. You know? Dating without an agenda or... Without any intention, you're just having options. It's not fulfilling, okay? Letting go of the options, accepting this masculine energy here, being ready to receive them. Yeah, the four wands, welcoming them home, okay? Reunion energy, three of cups, celebratory energy, page of wands, excited. The both of you feel good about each other. Okay, after having gone through a lot, yeah, this could be someone that you've known for a while or someone that wants to get to know you better. This could be someone that you've known for a while that wants to get, you, get to know you in a different way as well. Nine of Swords is suffering in silence, keeping something to themselves. Okay, 
for far too long. Ten of Wands. This person has been going through things, but going through them by themselves. They have seven of swords. They didn't want you to know. Something about they don't want to change the way you look at them or they don't want to. Yeah, they don't want to change your opinion of them. Judgment is our discernment. So you view them in a very like high esteem. You hold them to a high regard. Okay. And they didn't want to change the way that you see them by sharing certain things with you, certain troubles. Okay, you're their divine counterpart. They just, they really don't want this to be done. Okay. For some of you, this feels like this is someone returning because it keeps coming up like that. Reconciliation, returning. For others of you, this is someone completely new. And this person is like, I want to step outside of the friend zone and get to know you in a different way. Okay. Okay. I feel like we can grow together, we can learn together, we can contribute to each other's lives in a very uplifting, empowering way. So both of you give each other some sort of push or drive or something that feels really good. So two ambitious people motivating each other. So, you know, that works. Yeah, strength card, that works. What's this? King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yeah, they hide a lot. They hide a lot because they know that you're you're good and they don't want you to worry about them. They feel like they're going to be okay. So they're just waiting on things to sort themselves out. And once they do, they're going to come toward you. But they're not going to trouble you with the things they're going through. They're going to just sort it out. Ten of swords, two of wands, yeah, five of cups. Well, this is someone that knows what they want, so they're going to go for it. They know what they want. They're going to go for it. Could have been betrayal or something that took place in their past and your past, which makes, like I said, either or both of you afraid to open up and love again. But this connection cannot be denied. In the event that you or they attempt to deny it, walk away from it or what have you, the heart continues to yearn for the other one. Something like that. Six of cups, seven of cups. The hermit. Hermit is solitude, isolation, okay? This person could have been guided by spirit to spend some time alone. Take some time off from work in their everyday schedule and routine and just spend time alone thinking, gathering their feelings and emotions so that they can actually sort through them because, again, so many things going on. They're not sharing these things with you. They're just dealing with it. Okay. That's that nine of swords energy. Really suffering in silence. They don't want to change or alter the way that you view them. So they don't say anything. But this tower is divine intervention. Because whatever they're doing right now, they cannot continue to do. If they want this brand new beginning with you, that's what Spirit is saying. Nothing will come in this situation. Perhaps the way that they've been doing it is not, not it. Okay, Ten of Wands. Yeah, Ace of Cups. King of Cups. They're afraid, so they make it harder than it actually is. They're not expressing their true feelings. They have... One of the things they may have expressed to you is something about them being afraid of commitment. Three of Cups is working together, okay? Afraid of commitment, but wanting, it's like they want you to commit to them. And they're wanting to commit to you. It's just not easy for them to, uh, not be afraid this person has gone through it that ten of swords and ten of wands just feels really heavy 
And unless you've experienced it yourself or unless you know someone who's going through some of the things that I'm picking up from this person, you wouldn't understand. You would look at it like it's them making excuses or other things like that. Okay? So let us see. I feel like they are ready for what you're ready for. Ten of Pentacles, the lovers. They're just afraid. What if I do it and you don't like me? What if I do it and things don't work out? Because I've, I've given my all to other people and they haven't appreciated what I've done. You know, they weren't impressed at the end of the day. So what if I show you who I am and you're not impressed? What if you think I'm immature? What if you think I'm closed-minded? What if you're closed-minded and you're not, you know, down to be open to the things that I'm into? Right, but they do like you, they, they love you, they want to offer you this higher commitment, this loyalty. But they are going through this thing with this blockage here, and it's a thing with them, not with you. But I feel like this person wants to come toward you, okay, because they feel you are the one for them, you're the one that they can be themselves with. They feel like they can take this mask off with of you, and you will accept them for themselves. 11 11 on the timestamp. It's a subconscious fear. Here we have spark, okay? Perfect match, gut feeling, soul connection. They feel it in their gut that everything's going to be okay. Okay? See, now in the past, this is something maybe they hid from you. That could be what that ten of swords is, too, for some of you. Take what messages are for you. Leave what that, you know, what ones aren't. But uh, other people, you know, their opinions or if they had a karmic cycle that they were in or anything like that, Okay, they learned a lot, but they experienced a lot of pain in the process of learning those things, whatever those things were. Okay, they're not able to deny this feeling that they have with you and what it is they want with you, but that doesn't change anything either when it goes to, I mean, when it comes to the things they've experienced, okay, and what they're going through right now. So, yeah, this person may pop up on you, okay. One of the reasons may be they feel like you are irresistible and they want more. They want more of your love. They want more of your affection. They want more of your time, your energy, your whatever it is that you have offered to them or contributed to their life. Yeah, see, I am learning a spiritual lesson, okay? So, mm. Spiritual lesson being, no matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. Okay, so they're seeing and recognizing nothing will come of that other situation. You know, let me go ahead and release that. Also, like I said, a lot of you letting go of things, people no longer working, twins mirror each other. I get scared for being honest with you. Okay. I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Okay. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. So one of the things they could have hurt you with or uh, one of the ways they could have hurt you is by not sharing certain information with you and just kind of leaving you in the dark. One of those things being, it says, I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. All right. So you're over here like, dang, what is the problem? What is the issue? There is no problem. There is no issue. They're going through things when they want to go through them on their own. The way that they choose to go through things, they like shut the world out. Don't tell anybody anything. Suffer in silence, nine of swords. Still love you, has nothing to do with my feelings for you. I'm just suffering to myself because that's how I deal with things. It's just not, you know, not it. Yeah, so it's like we need to let each other go, okay? I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. So there's someone they know they need to let go of because, again, they're suffering in silence. But, you know, this may be someone that has a really really big heart and when it comes to letting go of things that they may feel like are burdensome or difficult or weighing them down they may not find it so easy to do they may take on other people's weight way more often than they should you know please understand that i need space right now but it's like that's who they are that's what they do it's just you know so they they they're trying to sort through that I'm afraid for getting too serious. I was hurt before, okay? People take advantage of them and their kindness. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. 
I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. Okay, and what is this? I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. All right, underlining, I'm always here for you. The reason they would say they don't know how to show you right now, you know, they feel obligated to do things for people, you know? They feel obligated. Until they see that nothing's gonna come from that situation, then they're gonna say, okay, I have faith in my dreams. I know that love is real. I know where the real love is. I don't have to suffer in silence. I know who the chosen one is. And to top it off, they already feel like you're irresistible. They're doing their damnedest to resist in the first place. All right, so we have wedding rings here, all right, sunglasses, yeah, see, watching, looking, stalking, okay, focusing on you, watching you, engagement ring, okay, this is what they think, this is how they feel, they want to commit themselves to you, again, they've been hurt before, so even though this is what they want, they're afraid of it, if, I, if I'm going to have it, I would want it with that person, but I'm afraid, because any other time that I've tried to have commitment, look at what's happened. So I really don't want to, but I do want to. It's a very complex feeling, okay? Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories, okay? We have clock here. They need time, yeah, okay? That's what it said right here. I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now, okay? I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. All of these cards make me feel like they want to be ready right now they want to come and see you right now they're just not ready right now you know what i mean talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hovering okay soulmates yeah this person feels like you're their soulmates and they just they need the time to heal their hearts do what it is that's necessary for them they're going through a transformation now it'd be different if this person said this to you like oh no you know i'm just i just need my time you know you know how people make excuses you probably would think that but this is not them. I'm saying it, you know, <laughs> and I don't know this person. What do I have to lie for? Right. So here we have the lovers here, the high priestess. You can trust what it is that this reading is saying. You can trust what it is that your intuition is telling you about this person. This is the second time now in this same reading that we've had the divine lovers card. All right. The two of you are twin flames. OK. Twin flame soulmates at that. So no situation may not be like everybody else's. You know, and again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some pieces may, some pieces may not. But overall, this person does love you. They do want to be with you. They just have to work through the things they need to work through. Simple as that. Okay? Simply said, not simply done. Okay? So let us see. Yeah, five of swords in reverse. They feel like they're losing you. You know, taking this time in isolation and hermit mode, the way they're being advised to by spirit. Yeah, that's what they should be doing because that's what Spirit told them to do. At the same time, they just feel like they need to, you know, they're like, I'm trying to fight this passion off. I'm trying to fight this, <laughs> you know. I don't want to block this person out. I don't want to uh, resist. But sometimes they feel like they have to. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles here. It's holding on to you. The Moon in reverse, releasing something or letting something go. Three of Swords in reverse, heartache, pain, okay, being released. We have the, um, or like healing, Queen of Pentacles here, dependable, uh, reliable. Remember, they showed up as the King of Pentacles. So this is what's on their mind. Everything that you have shown up for them as, they want to be that for you. Okay, Five of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to be blocked out. They want you to let them be there for you the way that you have been there for them. Yeah, I'm always here for you. I need to own up to where I feel sure about this relationship. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. Right, but I was afraid because see, you know, and so right here they like, I feel so guilty about my actions and what I said to you. So who knows what that could have been, could have been a variety of things, but this person feels bad about it. Okay, we have the six of cups in reverse. Okay. The knight of swords. And the four of cups in reverse, okay, so yeah, I feel like this person is watching you, okay, and they want to come towards you quickly with an offer, but they need the offer to be solid. And because they're not ready, again, you know, yes, they want to rekindle, they want to build up to it, but they're just not quite ready to go ahead and dive into it. They have to sever some ties or sever some connections, okay, if you will, some attachments. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they're like freeing themselves up from all of these 
loose ends, okay, or tying them up, if you will. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, this is my engagement ring, red string of fate here, okay. Person feel like this is meant to be. It's not just a lust-based or sex-based relationship because the Knight of Wands was in reverse. This is someone that, you know, once upon a time, they could have been out here, okay? And that could have been one of the things that they were talking about when they said they weren't ready to commit, you know, having all of those options, okay? Being stuck in a karmic cycle, all of that. That could have been what they were talking about, okay? And that's what it feels like to me. This person is ready for what you're ready for. They just have to work through, you know, the kinks, work through the healing process. So, yeah, it says, my decision to walk away from you was because I felt like I couldn't be what you need me to be. Right? Like, you're dependable, you're reliable, you're all of these things. And I'm that for everybody. So, because my hands are tied with all of this other stuff, how can I be there for you the way that I would like to be there for you? So a lot of that could have caused you guys to turn your backs on them, you know, your masculines. And now they're all coming back like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm here for you. Okay. And you're like, uh, all of a sudden you're here for me. Where did this come from? You know, and they want you to trust them. They want you to have faith. They want you to see the vision. They want you to, you know, so this reminds me a little bit of like the last reading, something about visionary. Okay. Are you willing to take the risk for me? Are you sure? You know, are you sure that it's me for you? This person feels a little bit insecure, you guys. All right. Who would have known you live up to the hype? You are so beautiful. It is unlike any other thing in this world. Okay. And the reason I say they feel a little bit insecure is because all this is green. So this is all like their heart chakra. Them expressing their true, deep feelings, right? Something that they may have done with others. But again, other people trampled all over their heart, you know, didn't appreciate it. So, I mean, the guys that play and that do this and that do that, they just start out like that now. You know what I mean? Something happened, right? Whether it started at home when they were younger or whether it started in their dating experience, you know? Something happened. They didn't just get like that, all right? So, let us see. We have, I never meant to make you cry. I love you. Hurting you is hurting myself, okay? So, if I could say anything to you, it would be this. Because this is their throat chakra. So this is their truth, right? I never meant to hurt you or make you cry. Because making you cry is like hurting me. You know what I mean? Hurting you hurts me. Three of swords. I don't like that. So that's what they feel. They're like, I'll do anything. You know? I'll do anything good that you need me to do. All right? We have been together many, many lifetimes. No matter what, I will always find my way back home. Then it says, are you willing to relocate for me? My family is everything to me, and so are you. So again, with that Ten of Wands, so many things that this person has their hands in, you know. It says, I love that you are in this world, but not of it. You make me want to be a better person. All right. So they are striving. They're striving. <clears throat> destiny mm -hmm. it is not in the stars but in yourself okay unleash hold nothing back expand into the universe that's that bring love into this situation all right this person is going to be expressing their truth soon be open to receiving it replenish okay the sun will rise and we will try again oh something about tomorrow Okay, that keeps coming up because earlier it said next day tomorrow. So something about tomorrow, y'all, for sure. All right. Mm-hmm. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. New beginnings. From chaos comes calm. Mm -hmm. And then attract. Like the moon and the ocean, you attract good things into your life. Mm-hmm. Come to me. Come, come, come. Mm -hmm. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and high grace.